Hi, this is a short video about the uh, multiplier effect, and in particular the fiscal multiplier. The fiscal multiplier examines how much a change in government spending affects a real GDP. For example, supposing the government increased government spending by £1 billion on building new roads, that would create an increase in national income of about £1 billion because it's uh, investment expenditure. However, there may also be a multiplier effect. So for example, perhaps the workers employed to build the new roads uh, spend some of their extra money, creating a greater demand in the rest of the economy. So therefore, from this initial one billion increase in government investment, we actually get a bigger final increase in overall spending and a bigger increase in real GDP. So if this initial increase in spending of one billion increased GDP by 1.5 billion, we would say there's a multiplier effect of 1.5. Similarly, the multiplier effect can work in reverse. At the moment, uh, European countries are pursuing austerity. They're cutting spending and increasing taxes. And the size of the multiplier effect depends upon various factors, such as the state of the economy um, and whether there can be other increases in demand. So if we take the Eurozone as an example, uh, economies such as Portugal and Ireland have cut spending and this has led to really quite a big fall in real GDP suggesting there's a large negative and multiplier effect and this is because uh, Portugal and Ireland and other Eurozone countries um, don't really have any other way of increasing demand in the economy they can't devalue they can't pursue expansionary monetary policy and they're unable to increase exports to other countries. So therefore, in the current economic situation, uh, austerity uh, in Eurozone economies have led to a big negative fiscal multiplier effect. So it means that their attempts to reduce the budget deficit have caused a big fall in real GDP. So that is a big uh, problem because it means that austerity is more painful for lower GDP and higher unemployment.